Hi you guys, so I just wanted to jump in really quickly. This is actually a couple of days down the road from the clips that you are about to see. For whatever reason, when I was editing this video, uh, the footage to the part before me actually going stroller shopping went MIA. So I wanted to jump in and explain what's going on and kind of show a little bit of what I was showing in that clip. And then we're gonna go ahead and jump right into it. So to give a little bit of narrative, we are actually going double stroller shopping <laughs> and it's so weird to say but one of the main reasons why we are stroller shopping in the first place is because my stroller doesn't actually fit in my new car <laughs> um yes I had got a new car it's not like I really shown my car in any of my videos like that before but uh, my old car transmission went out. It's just been a whole lot, a whole lot of, but now I have a new car, which is a hybrid electric Ford. It's technically an electric car that can jump into a hybrid when the electric part come out. So let me go ahead and show you that and then I'll explain more afterwards. So let's go ahead and show you what my new car look like. So for privacy reasons, I kind of got to show you the car while the garage door is down because when I lift it up, it's kind of right in front of the street sign and that's just the problem in itself. But this is the Ford Fusion Energy. It is an electric car, um, which I didn't know that Ford made energy cars, but I love this car because it's a way bigger than my Ford Focus. I never thought after having a Ford Focus that I would actually get another Ford, but here I am. Let me show you what kind of the inside is looking like. I absolutely love my new car. Oh, look. <laughs> oh, baby. <laughs> this is the part that's actually the charging port to the car. I love how that glows. And the thing about this is that it, um, how full this circle is, it just went away, but how full the circle is, lets you know how fully charged the car is. So if I just tap this, it just kinda looks like that. And I will put the charger, which actually came with the car. That is what the charger thing looks like, which is this. It comes with the car, so you don't have to like get a whole special setup installed because it just comes with the car. And this is what the charging part looks like. You just kind of plug that into it and then it charges. So I just take this in and snap it in like this. And there we go, it is uh, starting to charge. This is actually what the key looks like. So it is definitely a push start car, which is so good for me. <laughs> so you just walk up and it automatically unlocks because that's, I guess, how push start works. So I just open the door and just to give you all a quick overview, this is what the inside of the car is looking like. So it has leather seats. Um, this is actually a 2017 car, so this car is used. So you'll see that it already has 35,000 miles on it, so it's fine. But this is how much actual fuel tank, because most electric cars all have a hybrid capability. But this is how much gas I have. This is the battery life and fuel history it tell me how many miles for average so i got 41 miles average last time i drove so now because it's getting late night the background is black but in the daytime earlier it is uh, a lot brighter and it shows what is going on with the car whether i'm using fuel or battery what's on climate other stuff plug electric motor and drive and this is the main reason of actually having to go stroller shopping because my stroller doesn't fit in the trunk because it's electric car there's a big battery in the back so let me show you that but everything else about the car is pretty basic so outside of this knob this is different for the Ford Fusion cars the back seat looks like that and that's pretty basic. This is the main reason 
for actually getting uh, a new stroller. I don't have any chunk space at all, clearly. Yeah, that is really it. That is pretty much what I forgot to show in the beginning of this video. So just to let you guys know, uh, before the questions start rolling in, no, I am not pregnant as I know of. <laughs> But um, we are getting a double stroller to be able to go from a single to a double stroller. So that is kind of what's going on. It is unacceptable for me to have a stroller sitting in or taking up seat space. Yeah, I hope that answered your question. Now let's get to the video. All right, so we finally made it. And we all packed up in the car. As you can see, the situation we got to do is putting everything in the front seat like that. Me and baby Nala is back here with her little mirror which I don't think David can see her with right say hi say hi she just stare me for some reason she just likes to stare me down yeah 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 you're trying to hide your face and stuff got her little bow on who do you think she look like now Who do you think you look like? Who? <laughs> Who? Ooh! Tell me. It's so crazy to see her starting to be more alive, but for some reason, we noticed yesterday when we went to a wedding that she doesn't be live in front of people. And I don't know what it's about. You notice that, babe? Mm -hmm. She doesn't like laugh much. I mean, it depends. Like, if she kind of like your energy, she she might like giggle a little bit. She might just smile. But most cases, she don't like all that like blah 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 blah. And all that baby talk. She do not do that at all in front of people. I feel like it's just only really in front of us. And it's so weird, but I love to see her be a little bit, a little bit more alive. Oh, also, you guys, we think that she is starting to get some teeth growing in soon on her bottom rows and whatnot. On your bottom row, you want to show the people? She's starting to do that drool thing. She's like, uh, no, what are you doing? Open your mouth. Open your mouth. <laughs> open your mouth. You probably can't tell, and I don't really want to pry her mouth open. Ain't got time for the shenanigans. But, uh, <laughs> but yeah, she's starting to like drool a lot and put her hand in her mouth and starting to put like stuff in her mouth. She's like, stare at me. Dang, stop sign at <laughs> me. <laughs> so, I think definitely teasing this will be coming soon. I think I'm gonna eventually, not eventually, but soon get some like baby um like gum like stuff so that when it does come because i know it's coming soon that we already kind of be prepared for that but david thinks that this is his car for whatever reason i don't know always driving. but he always driving my car when he goes somewhere he driving my car when the other day he took my car to work i did not volunteer that information like dang you have a whole car first his car was better now my car better now he don't know how to act he drove my car more than me oh now it's our cars no no because my focus was my focus what do you mean you get motion sickness I be asking like, oh, you need me to drive? No, I got it. Oh, I don't want to hear that excuse no longer. But we definitely need to, why am I saying we? I definitely need to get tint on this car because with leather seats, it gets so hot. So basically, if I'm not in the garage, it just can be very, very, very hot. So yeah, that is it. I guess that's all I got to say for now. So let's just go ahead and get to the location and then I will hit you guys back once we're there. So, I ain't think that we'll be back here anytime soon. I did. You did? Yep. <laughs> Why? Yeah, I don't know. For some reason, I always thought this stroller was like temporary. Yeah, it was supposed to be temporary, but then you kind of had the mentality if it's free, don't worry about it. Yep. And I'm like, I can't get him to buy another stroller because he keeps telling me that this one was free. So now we're here. 
for an another stroller. You have to get another stroller. Yeah, because this one is not going to work. But this is almost like a stroller dealership. They got so many in here. I know. Oh, look at this. It's so cute. This is what baby girl need. She should be mounting on her. What is that? Oh, her that you want? Yeah. yeah. Cause you know she be chewing on hers now. And they got it on both sides. We can also look at some of the Graco ones or whatever. Just in case we do get one only. Mm hmm Let's see, but it has to be Graco. Why does it gotta be Graco? Because you don't want to get another car. Uh, I thought they were all pretty universal though for the basis. That looks expensive. This one's 79. Really? Yeah. That's crazy. It looks expensive. Don't that feel expensive? Yeah. That feels good. There's no car seat. No, but if you had a car seat, that would cheap though. Ooh. Ooh. Soft. It's like cooling. Okay. Got technical difficulties. It's taking a lot longer than it did before. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> she is fluffing up my shoulder. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so this is a double stroller. Oh, I think this is the one I was showing you that was on Walmart's website that was on sale. But this is great. I wonder if I'm supposed to get this thing. The only thing about it is this thing looks big. I don't know. Like it goes from one to two. Oh whatnot. From my understanding you can adjust this. This thing looks big. <laughs> I don't know. It's kind of daunting, isn't it? This looks like a lot. Yeah. It looks like it wouldn't fit in the car. Well it you take the car seat out with the car seat. You take this out and it shuts. So I gotta take two things out. Does it show it on the uh, display thingy? Yeah, so like, see how it's like one right here. But even to walk with two kids in this, it seems like. How much is this? It's got a price on it? 400. 400. This part goes down to if we need it to. Mm -hmm. But let's see if our car seat can fit on this one. So our car seat looks like it fits yeah, on so this double stroller. Same brand. Yeah. It's just a lot bigger than I thought it would be. Okay. Okay, that seems less daunting like that. This seems like it is. Hard to maneuver. It's big. You know what it feels like? A front wheel drive. Like the back wheels don't go, but when you go backwards, it's like only the front wheels are really doing it. It's big. <laughs> this is not the only one they have, right? No, no, no. How do you take this part out? I thought it doesn't go in any more than that. I guess that's regular. Oh, that's that's the extension part there. It's not just like all the wheels gonna turn because it has this plastic piece like this. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's gonna stay stagnant. So you gotta kind of like back up like a car and then go forward. This thing need the beat, beat, beat when yeah. you do the reverse. <laughs> that's kind of what it is. I mean, it's not as daunting, but it's not as like I'm not really. Yeah, this bar like extends so out like six inches more. Put it in the car. Yeah, that definitely ain't gonna fit. Mm. <laughs> so what is this one? Well, I tell you this one's less daunting. Less this daunting? Great, Hold on. This is a great car. Okay, same brand. This is three 
$349. Okay, okay. We're a little cheaper now. Only thing I can potentially see about this, I really don't think this can go into single. They can't? I'm not thinking so. Because you see this right here? Mm-hmm. It's like permanent cuts. Now, if our second baby is already here. How many cups? You got one cup thing there. One here. One there. One here. One here. One here. One here. One here. One here. Dang, that's, what, six? Mm -hmm. No, I counted wrong. That's five. Actually, way easier to move than the other one. But... How would that fold up? This looks. All right, let's see if you can figure it out. Oh dang. Uh, it's gotta be more than that, right? Is that as much as that one folds down? Um, no. If you move the wheels out the way a little bit, they sh it should go down just a little bit more. Oh, like this. Yeah. There you go. Uh. Now it locks on this side. You think it would fit in the trunk of a car? Maybe. One thing I don't like about this, even with two kids, is that these wheels are plastic. Yeah. Okay, guys, so we are um, still in Bye Bye Baby, but we are actually in the nursery uh, because the baby needed to be changed. So I'm going to give you guys a short little um, sneak peek of, you know, what this uh, nursery looks like here in the store. Okay, um, so you got this front door here. Um, the only problem here is it's got a big window and then a changing table directly across from it um, and also there's no lock so you can't lock the door so nobody comes in accidentally uh, so I put the stroller here just to block the door just in case um, but you know all your standard things are in here just everything you can buy in the store furniture uh, couches uh, some wall art here one changing table you know with some little things you can buy in the store like trash cans and stuff um, the other chair here it's a rocker isn't it mm -hmm. it's comfortable mm -hmm. nice and then we got another little uh, nightstand here with some wipes that you can use if you forgot yours and a bottle warmer if you need it and then this is the second changing table that you can use that's Bay's bag right there and then big trash can uh, for all the diapers and a tree and that's basically it so uh, one good thing about this is it's a, a pretty nice size uh, nursery here and it's very quiet baby's falling right asleep <laughs> so that's another good thing too uh, so this is a, a good nursery uh, for a store probably the best one I've seen she was getting a little frustrated sleepy and tired and hungry and for whatever reason she really likes to be held really tightly like she's gonna be breastfed in order to eat when she's sleeping so now she's on her way to sleep so I can put her in the car seat so we can go ahead and finish looking at these double strollers. This is definitely not as daunting it looks like it has like snatch it seems like it will be going very quick probably would end up breaking this off if this is ours. Jeez. I wouldn't close. I probably would like sell them leave it. Dang. That could be really annoying. That's not really like a cup holder. You can't really put a cup nah. here. That's a negative. This is just a thingy. I wonder if does this convert
I don't like that. So basically, it just looks like um, to spend what we would want to spend on the situation so far, it looks like we would have to do a single stroller and then wait until we already are pregnant and ready for the second baby mm -hmm. to get an automatic double stroller because. We don't want to be walking around with a double shoulder and we only got one kid. Mm -hmm. But we don't want to also pay $1,300 sooner than we have to. <laughs> so. It's a lot of money. Do you so. think Walmart and Target have different ones or? I mean, I would still same? do more research, but based off of what I'm seeing now, this would be the only case of the double shoulders I can see. The ones that I've seen, except for one stroller, and I don't see it here. It's called uh, Even Flow Pivot. That one I don't see here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's see about that one. Let me do my research. I'll come back to you. Okay. All right, so this is the stroller that I was looking at. It is called the Even Flow Pivot Expand. It goes from a single, as you can see, and this is the stroller, to a double. So, hold on. Let me show you what it looks like. When it's so it folds just like that one. And this is what it looks like when it's on a double. So it can do car seats. I believe it can do two toddler seats too. Hold on. Yeah, there we go. Two regular toddler seats. So this is what I was looking at. It's $400. They don't have one in store. But we're trying to figure out what their return policy or their policies are on opening one, trying it, and returning it. I don't know if we take a chance on it or we don't. I'm not really sure. So. In the meantime, we're gonna look at these single strollers or whatever. I'm sorry, Nala. We take it too long. Alright, that's lighter. Okay. Yeah, lay it down flat. I know the seats go down. I mean, that tray come off probably. But you gotta do all this just get in the trunk. Yeah. I think it's enough for me, dog. It's not looking good so far. It doesn't, it don't go straight, does it? That's a no. That one's a no. That's a no. Make sure you get that one so we know. Is it? Mm, it's not going to go any further back. No. Oh, Lord. Can we see how that one fits in the back seat? Sure. much of a difference from what we're dealing with right now no so we are finally back in the car as you can see the strollers did not fit at all Damn. so this is one thing you definitely want to look out for when you drive when you're buying a hybrid car and you have kids you're trying to save gas but you ain't got no trunk space and this was one of the things i was afraid of but david's pretty confident that we are going to figure out life we'll find one and we'll find one that will fit but right now i don't know so i don't know what i'm gonna do honestly because at this point we stuck with my car but i'm really vouching for this whole uh even flow stroller i think that's gonna be our best bet but if you know anything else let me know but we are definitely if you don't know trying to uh basically be able to expand for another child don't suggest me no upper baby because i don't want to hear it for the price until then to be continue on our whole stroller journey peace oh, can't come right to you,